Hello my dear friends and welcome to my channel. Don't forget to make yourself a cup of hot tea if you want, because today we have very interesting stories, and one of them is a story about a woman who became crazy and called the police when OP colored her grandchild's hair. Please subscribe if you haven't and I hope you'll enjoy it. So this happened about a year ago, so the conversations aren't exact, but they give the general idea. I live in a country where ice hockey is really small time. Average game attendance is around only 3,000 people. Usually if you want to see a game, you can show up, buy tickets at the desk on the night and have no problems. This particular game was an exception because it was right at the end of the season between the top two teams and the winner was likely to decide who won the league. To add to this it was also during a school break. Knowing all of this me and my partner decided it would be a smart move to call and book tickets in advance, and we were right to do so as I rang the day after they went on sale, and they were almost all booked. EM. Entitled Mom, TD. Ticket Desk Lady, GF. Girlfriend. Come the night, me and my partner are waiting in the line for the ticket desk to collect the tickets we booked over the phone. In front of us is EM and her child. She gets to the front of the line, and the conversation goes something like this two please. I'm sorry, but we're all sold out. What? How can you be all sold out? You're never sold out. I need tickets for this game, it's my son's birthday. Sorry but there's nothing I can do, this is a popular match, and it's first come, first serve. There are just no empty seats left at all. This conversation continued for a while, EM in complete disbelief that the game is sold out and demanding something be done because it's her son's birthday. Eventually TD had enough and told EM there was nothing she could do, and the line was getting long, so she would call security if EM didn't leave. EM slammed her hand on the counter turned around and stormed off. We get to the front and I explain that I booked tickets, TD finds them and hands them over. EM must have seen this because as we were walking towards the door, EM was pushing her way back to the front of the line. We stopped and pretended to talk so we could listen to what was going on. You just gave them tickets. You said it was first come first serve. Yes, but that couple booked their tickets over the phone. That's not fair. We were here first, they shouldn't be allowed to do that. Sorry but those are the rules. If you book over the phone next time you can guarantee yourself tickets when you arrive here on game night. I don't care about next time, we need to see this game. Can't you make that couple to give their tickets to me, since they technically cheated the first come first serve rule. Absolutely not, it's not cheating anything, pre-booking is something we always offer. That couple booked and paid for their tickets well in advance, and they rightfully belong to them. Eventually this conversation settles and EM is walking towards us. Excuse me, I don't know if you were told, but this game is actually first come first serve, and I was here before you, so you have to give us those tickets. Sorry, but these tickets are ours, we booked them in advance because we knew it would be busy. It's my son's birthday and you've cheated the system so you can steal our tickets. Give them to us now. I haven't cheated any system. I paid for these tickets weeks ago, you can't have them. I can sense that this is getting a little out of hand, so me and GF decide to move towards the door to get away from the situation as she can't follow us inside. She didn't like that so she started following us yelling that we're stealing her precious son's birthday present and stuff like that. When we got to the door she started yelling to the security guards to stop us because we'd stolen her tickets after she bought them at the desk. It didn't take long for us to prove we bought the tickets and this lady was just acting crazy. I just couldn't believe the audacity of this lady to ask us to hand over our tickets we paid for months ago just because she got there first and to then try and get us kicked out for stealing our own tickets. Anyway, we enjoyed the game, we won the league and I haven't seen EM since. Fairly certain entitled parents consider all strangers to be NPCs. If it's your son's birthday, then you should also book the seats. It's fair. Me. Just a 20-year-old punk. EM. Entitled mother. F.A. Really chill flight attendant. I had just got back from Afghanistan about a week ago and was heading home on my post-deployment leave to surprise my father. He did not know I was back. When I got to the check-in counter the lady told me that my flight was delayed due to mechanical issues and that they were trying to find a new plane for the flight. This is important later, four hours later I am boarding my flight. Now the original plane did not have a first class row, but the new plane did and no one was seated in them. As a veteran they allowed me and a few others to board the flight first. Once seated I put my headphones in and waited for the flight to depart. 
After the flight was loaded the flight attendant came on the speaker to tell everyone that the flight had the entire first class section open and that they would select seats at random to give people free upgrades for the flight. This is where everyone started to ask for the upgrade, some even getting belligerent demanding an upgrade. I didn't mind my seat and honestly did not expect to get selected for the upgrade. But as the lady was going around listening to people bugging her for an upgrade she came up to me. Excuse me sir, would you like to be upgraded to first class? Really? That would be great. I've never sat in first class before. Well it's your lucky day. Grab your carry-on and I'll show you to your new seat. As I'm collecting my belongings the passenger behind my seat went hysterical. What makes him so special that you gave him the upgrade? Ma'am, the selection was random, and his seat was selected. That's crap. He already got to enter the plane before me and my daughter, even though I was zone A. How much more does he need? Ma'am I'm sorry, it was random. To the attendant it's okay, I can sit in my normal seat and she can have the upgrade. My daughter needs an upgrade too then. Just give her a random upgrade too. Ma'am the seats have already been selected, I can't remove someone else for your daughter. You'll have to stay in your seat. At this point the flight attendant took me to the first class seat and I sat down. She asked me if I wanted anything to drink and that everything was complimentary. So I ordered a beer and a bag of chips and put my headphones in to enjoy my one and only time in first class. Fast forward to being in the air. An hour has gone by and I'm asleep when I feel someone tapping me on the shoulder. I wake up and it's the crazy passenger from before. I'll take your seat now. Um, well I'm already settled and the flight attendant already told you no. Okay, how about you get out of the seat right now? I'm a mother so give it to me. I'm agitated at this point with all due respect, no. I'm just going to stay here. After that EM leaves and I put my headphones back in. A few minutes later EM returns and pulls my headphones out of my head. You're going to give me the seat. She then collects my phone and Kindle off of the tray and stands up. Now I'm furious because she just yanked my headphone off and took my belongings, so I get the flight attendant's attention and explain what's going on. Ma'am please return to your seat. I don't want this to escalate any further. This is freaking ridiculous. Just cause he's a soldier doesn't mean he should get his butt licked by everyone. I'm a marine by the way. The M then threw my belongings on my lap pretty hard, but I just sat there quietly until she went back to her seat. I apologized to the flight attendant for all the trouble, and she told me situations like this is why they never really give free upgrades during a flight. The rest of the flight went normal and I was able to surprise my dad. You probably got the upgrade because you didn't throw a fit. I bet that's why the flight attendant said M couldn't have your seat, too, she didn't want her to be rewarded for acting like that. I've been babysitting two little girls, three and five, for over a year now. I know their parents since I was a child, I'm 21 now, and we get along very well. A month ago I decided to dye my hair in a red-brownish color. When I babysat them they loved it. Their parents are quite okay with little girls playing with makeup and fashion. So when I was done babysitting I asked the mom if I could bring some fun fashion things to play with the next time. That next time was last week. When I got there I opened my beauty case and showed them what I got. Necklaces, costumes, hair ties, makeup, frozen perfume dot 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 and pink hair dye. I asked both of their parents if it was okay for me to dye their hair pink since it's their favorite color. I informed them that it was temporary hair dye designed for kids and it could be washed out immediately. So it was pretty much harmless. The parents laughed a bit with me and told me it was fine, but they specifically asked me to put them in a bath without washing their hair, I guess they wanted to see it the next morning. They said goodbye and told me that, crazy but, grandma would come home around midnight to pay me la di da di da. Dot dot some amazing haute couture hours later the doorbell rang. It was only around 9 p.m. and the girls were still awake. I put them in their bathrobes and night diapers, I was getting them ready for bed and put them in front of the TV and went to open the door. It was Grandma Karen. She was almost three hours early. Without even saying hello she entered, almost knocked me over and while walking to the living room, she opened her purse to get a 50 euro bill. As soon as she wanted to hand me the bill she seized their pink hair and lost her damn marbles. What in the Jesus and Mary have you done to my babies? Um oh don't worry we just played for Shyanistas. It's okay it can be washed too. Runs to girls and starts screaming hysterically. What has she done to your beautiful golden hair? 
Ma'am, it's okay, Mom and Dad know about it. Shut up. Who do you even think you are to just come here and assault my babies? Proceeds to scream at me for a couple more minutes. This is child abuse. I'm calling the police on you, you freaking child harasser. Okay, so at this point I started to freak out. Even thought I knew I didn't do anything wrong, the thought of being interrogated made me almost crap my pants. She freaking held me hostage in the living room while continuing her screaming and moaning. She even wrinkled a 50 euro bill like toilet paper and shoved it down her pocket. Curse words after curse words left her mouth. Oh my god I can't believe, mom, would even hire someone like you. You probably have a criminal record don't you? I hope you freaking get 20 years in prison, you slur. You ruined my baby's life. You traumatized them. This is child abuse. The police are on their way. Evil smirk you will never find a job again. Oh babies, did that with hurt you? She did, didn't she dot 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 oh my god did she also cut it? I didn't. You've probably been assaulting them for a month now huh? Think about the most Karen Karen you know. Double her age and shorten her hair. That was what I had to deal with for almost half an hour. Oh, and she also said that me coloring my hair like a prostitute was a bad influence for kids in general anyways I was able to text the parents during her rant. They arrived not too long after the police and a CPS officer. You can only imagine how they reacted lol, but they couldn't leave until the parents arrived to make sure everything was okay. Officers left, mom and dad freaked out. They kept apologizing to me. Mind you this was happening all in front of the girls because Grandma Karen didn't let me put them to bed. Not only did she give me the most violent verbal attack I have ever seen, she also ruined the parents' date night. When I left to go home I started crying. But hey, I got paid double that night and the girl's hair looked fabulous. P.S. Since she lied about me assaulting the girls and verbally attacked me, I can charge her for it. Police officer gave me his number to contact him if I wanted to. Should I though? I really want to put her in her place, but that would affect the parents and I love them so much. Do it. Charge her. Play stupid games win stupid prizes. Maybe she'll think twice next time. She verbally abused you for no reason and risked preventing you from ever working with children ever again. So sue her. BM. A typical Karen. Me. Yours truly. Let's get some important background info first. I am a manager at a certain fast food chain. The day that this happened, I was wearing a crew shirt over my manager uniform as I was doing some deep cleaning in the store, this is important, so don't forget. Originally, I was not scheduled to work that day, but offered to come in to help get ready for a visit from upper management. Ready? Let's start. EM walks into the store visibly angered. Hello. What can I do for you today? You idiots gave me five napkins instead of four. You guys are lazy and sloppy. I am sorry that you received five napkins instead of four. The crew has been crazy busy tonight and have been getting out orders as quickly and accurately as they can. These things happen from time to time and I am sorry that you displeased with our service. At this point I was pissed, insulting the crew and being completely unreasonable over a single napkin wasn't very mature. However, I still stayed calm and didn't let her know I was frustrated. I demand a full refund and a free meal right now. Ma'am I am afraid I can't do that as nothing of value has been lost. If you fill out the feedback section of your receipt you can receive a discount on your next purchase. I will not have it. You little craps give free stuff to other customers. I was boiling inside, at this point she was drawing attention and being a nuisance to all the other customers. But as before I showed no aggression. Ma'am I am really sorry, but in those cases a customer was either overcharged or a mistake on their food order had been made. I'm done. Don't give a crap what you have to say idiot, get me a manager now. This was it. The best power move I'd ever make. Right in front of her I took off the crew shirt to reveal my manager shirt. Hi, I am the manager. And like I said I will not give you a refund or a free meal, especially after you berated my coworkers and me. I ask that if you are not going to purchase anything that you leave the store. Thank you and have a nice day. The EM's face became pale and had a look of horror. Needless to say she quickly left the store. Never been back since. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. Working in a line of food service can be tough and I'll always have respect for those who do it.
I've read about Karens exploding over little crap, but one going loco over something that is generally a good thing for the customer is something I just want to bang my head at my desk for. Well guys, that's it for today. If you end up enjoying this video please consider subscribing, and if you missed the last episode on the channel I'm gonna link it right here, the story is about a man who let his son hold a venomous snake and then karma got them. Check this out if you haven't, and I'll see you in my next video.